My name is Diederik Voss and I'm the CEO of SQS and I would like to take you through the half-year results. SQS is the leading provider for quality management and testing. We are a true world leader covering 90% of the world market for testing and our vision is to really be strategically involved in change processes of software. We are a true leader in our industry, not only by providing the services to our clients, but also through our thought leadership books. And we do not shy away from making sure that the industry understands our vision for an industrialized process for software testing. And we have made significant progress on all key metrics of our organization, not only on revenue, PBT, but also on market share and order intake. Our growth was 20% in revenues, which was also driven through our things of acquisition, but half of that was really driven organically. Our PBT growth, again, was stronger than revenues, which shows that we have been able to increase our revenues much faster by driving managed services. Managed services is key to our growth. And I'm very pleased that also in managed services, we now achieved 44% of total revenues. And our PBT being up nearly 90% is a formidable achievement. Our order intake of 70 million is again larger than last year, which shows that our investments and our focus and our execution of strategy on our managed services is starting to become very successful. SQS has an industrial platform to serve market trends aligned with the whole software cycle. We not only test and provide quality management around the product development itself, the integration of the product and the software in its environment, but also when the software is in use and providing quality management and testing on the release upgrades and the feature upgrades that are happening on the in-use environment. This year, we focus on the development of the US market, our verticals, and the further development of managed services. As I've mentioned earlier on, our managed services have grown significantly now to 44% of total revenues. Our margin has gone in that area to over 35%. We all remember when we started in managed services and it was only at 24% and everybody asked, will this really go to over 35%. And this is, of course, a formidable achievement of our company that we now achieve that goal. We have our revenues delivered by our test centers at 28%, and 62% of our billable headcount comes now from test centers. Earlier this year, we did a publication about the industrialization of software testing and quality management. In our own company, the industrialization process has been rolled out and we expect further improvements on our margin coming from that. The integration of ThinkSoft has been finalized, it has been integrated, and we have renamed ThinkSoft now into SQS India BFSI. But the second half of 2014 still has some key elements. We need to make sure that we expand our share of test automation and make sure that we have further output-based pricing. We need to strengthen our position in the US market. We had a growth of 260% in the US market, but in order to be a formidable player in that market, we need to look at making further investments in that area. We will much stronger focus on four out of our six verticals, BFSI, banking, financial services, and insurance, retail and logistics, and manufacturing. These four verticals in our company have industrial leads driving the knowledge in the industrialization to our clients. But also we need to make sure that we further improve our cash position and are very vigilant towards our profitability. Cash is very important to us and we have our seasonality within the uh, cash generation but we are very confident on driving further improvements in the second half. 
My name is Rene Gorin. I'm the CFO of SQS and I would now like to take you through the financial section of our interim results 2014. As you know, those results are much better than last year's first six months period. This is partly due, and I'd like to remind everybody uh, also of the Thinksoft acquisition, which is now renamed into SQS India BFSI. Despite the fact that this acquisition only closed in April 2014, we have had full control of the company from 1st of January this year, and that's why the Thinksoft numbers are now fully integrated from 1st of January into our numbers. I think the good news is revenue and especially PBT growth would have also been strong without that acquisition. PBT would have been up 50% without Thinksoft, and as you know, it's 87% it's up, including Thinksoft, but it kind of shows and gives evidence that we just continue to further deploy the stated strategy of moving more to managed services and uh, to test center delivery. We are running our business by three lines of business called managed services, specialist consulting and regular testing services. Let me start with managed services. Managed services is now the biggest segment uh, of our company, 44%, and we do have the target to get it above 50% of our total revenues uh, by next year. Managed services for the first time achieved a gross margin above 35%. And the reason why we got there is because with the deals we have, we have now a higher share of global delivery. That means there is a bigger share of that business that can be delivered from our offshore and nearshore test centers. Therefore, the EBIT contribution from this segment now is more than 14%. The other entry segment into new deals is specialist consultancy. Specialist consultancy now is about 10% of our business. And very often, specialist consultancy is the way how we start new engagements with clients. It is a very profitable part of our business, contributing close to 8% EBIT in this business line. Uh, specialist consultancy has been down compared with the previous period because we reclassified one major client, which had a lot of banking uh, specialists uh, in it, to managed services. That's the reason why there is a temporary drop from 16 to 10%. But going forward, we hope to strengthen the segment again that it does a contribution of about 15% to the top line. Finally, let me focus on regular testing services. Regular testing services is about project business and is about supplying a few local consultants to IT projects. Very often, this is also the start of uh, a new client engagement and all managed services engagements we have today once began as regular testing services engagements and some also as specialist engagements. Regular testing services is very much a commodity. That's why gross margins there continue to be under pressure and the profit contribution is only close to 3% of the business. We're seeking to keep that segment at something like around 30%. It had a little bit of a jump upwards because of the first time consolidation of the Thinksoft numbers, um, but we are confident that it will continue to be about a third of the business going forward. When we look at the key metrics of, uh, especially the key financial metrics of our company, it is very important to think a few years back and sometimes remind ourselves what we have achieved. A few years ago, we started our program to substantially improve gross margins. And again, the key reason why gross margins are up and continue to be better is the growth in managed services. As uh, Diederik Foss, our CEO, said earlier, managed services, when we began them in 2009, the margin was at 24% or so. It has grown nicely and will continue to go up as long as we uh, win the kind of deals which allow us to deliver them in a global delivery mode that is moving more of the delivery to our nearshore and offshore test centers. Another important metric is 
to focus on clients with a larger revenue potential. The number of client engagements in a year continued to come down over the past few years. Despite the fact that in H1 this year, we added another 50 or so clients from the Thinksoft of first time consolidation, still the number of clients continued to drop compared with last year. At the same time, the revenue per client has been up to more than 600,000 euros uh, on an annualized basis. This is very important because the sales cost and kind of the maintenance cost of a client engagement are quite high and we want to be selective and only maintain those clients which do have a midterm potential to bring us more than 1.5 million euros per year. The same is true for our net debt position. Our net debt position has come down over the past few years and uh, there is a certain seasonality in the net debt. It's typically higher by the middle of the year as we do have a higher amount of receivables and also work in progress, which can only be invoiced in the second half of the year. This is a certain fashion which uh, some of our major managed services clients apply to us where they optimize their cash flow and we have always seen this kind of seasonality. However, uh, we are still much better than we were about a year ago. If we finally take a look at the industries by which we make our, our revenues, Banking and financial services certainly made a big jump uh, of, uh, upwards to now 36% up from 29 last year. This is mainly due to the first time consolidation of Thinksoft. We had consciously acquired a company that is an expert in the banking domain. Banking and financial services is the biggest market segment of the overall software testing market. So it is quite logical that this segment now makes up more than one third of our total business. If we look at the geographies, um, we have de-risked our business further by having less and less exposure to some of the traditionally large geographies. Naturally, large geographies like Germany, which a few years ago used to be close to 50% of our revenue, is now down to 32%. The UK traditionally has always been our second largest local market with a lot of uh, potential going forward. But we are very proud that now the non-European market segments such as the USA or Asia and Middle East both account for an aggregate some like 10% of our business and especially the US market has a huge potential going forward to be one of the largest market segments for us. According to some market studies, the software testing market growth in the areas where we are present is around 7%. This is still much larger than the general IT market. The addressable market being around 10 billion, I always say, is big enough for all of us. But why is this market growing? And why will it continue to grow? We all know and sometimes predicting the past is easier than predicting the future. But we all know that the pressure on delivering software will continue. We all know that the complexity of software will only increase. We also know that by mergers and acquisitions of larger companies, banks, manufacturing companies, industrial conglomerates, that by breaking off software applications or integrating them, the complexity is ever increasing. SQS is the, by and large, biggest player in the pure play software field. But we also play a formidable role against the software integrators, which is the area where we actually compete. Today we have position number 11, according to the Nelson Hall market study. But we will thrive to be bigger, to make sure we make the right investments, and make sure that we do the right acquisitions to grow, especially in the US. If we look to our outlook for the rest of this year, based on the performance of the first half, we are very confident to meet market expectations for the full year. We need to make sure we continue focusing on managed services. 
assure we do the right acquisitive growth in line of our strategy. We focus on the four key verticals, which I mentioned before, and making sure that we invest in our people so that we can deliver the best projects for our clients. And as I said, with that, we are very confident to meet full expectations for this year.